Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to make a mirror. Um, normally I paint on 20 inch and up surfaces, so pretty large wood when I make my mirrors, but just the process of recording something that large is difficult for me and it also takes six to 10 hours. So. That's just a lot of recording time, editing time. It's just more difficult. So I decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make a mirror on a smaller scale so that you get to see everything. And I think it will just be a little bit easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint on this 12 inch board that I got at Michael's. Um, I think they still sell them. I'll leave a link in the description below. So I'll be painting on this 12 inch board and then I'm going to use a six inch mirror. So pretty much it's going to be exact same process as my larger mirrors, just on a smaller scale so that you guys can see the whole process. So to get started, I'm just going to find the center real quick. Unfortunately, these boards are not exactly 12 inches, so I have to kind of give some room on the edge there, but I'm just taking this and I'm marking the halfway point, which is six inches. And I'm gonna go the other way. And then I'm gonna go just a couple other directions. So this one's looking like a pretty good center, so I will work with that one. I'm gonna sharpen my pencil real quick. So I just put it on that dot there and then bring it all the way out to the very edge and I'm going to swing it across so it's a little bit off on that side so I'm just going to move it over and test this side and then this one it's a little bit off so I just move it over And now we are even all the way around. Okay, so that is going to be my center. I just twist this and it makes a little hole so I can see it. Alrighty. I've been using this method forever. I know there's probably some, well, there are a ton of other methods that I've seen online. So if you need help finding a center, you can Google and get a ton of different methods. I'm gonna use this 16 pointed mandala stencil. So I just put it right over the center.
Okay, now we're just going to extend these lines outward. All right, and if you wanted more lines than this, you could just take the same stencil and just twist it and give yourself, excuse me, another set of lines. But I think for today, I'm okay with the 16. Okay, then I'm gonna take this ruler and we know our mirror is six inches, so we're gonna do half, which is three. So I just measure out three. I give it a little extra for a little buffer. Put it in the center here. Make our first line. And that is gonna be where our mirror goes. Perfect. Okay, now I'm just gonna open it little by little. This is not an exact measurement, I'm just kind of eyeballing. So with guide marks, obviously we don't use all of them. A lot of them just get painted over, but my best advice is it's better to have too many and not need them and you can wipe them away later instead of needing them and not having them. So make as many as you might need. So there we are. So today I'm going to be using the colors coral, blue, and tan. I haven't decided if I'm going to use peacock teal yet. I might, but I'm using moody blue, cactus flower, and khaki tan. And I'm out of a lot of my coral colors, so I'm going to mix some pink and orange. This is dragon fruit and orange flame and maybe add a little bit of this in there just to give us a couple different variations of coral. I'm gonna wait to mix the other colors 
um, until I need them so that they don't dry out because the first row of dots around could take a minute. So I don't want dry paint. I got a new Lazy Susan from Amazon. It's the same as my other one, but the other one was 14 inches and this one is 10. So it's perfect for this.
Okay, now that our guide marks are removed, I'm going to take these Gorilla Glue Mounting Tape Squares. I'm gonna use four, but each four squares holds up to seven pounds and this mirror is tiny, so it doesn't weigh much, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put four on there to be safe. You could also use um, just regular glue, hot glue gun, whatever you want. I got this mirror from Michaels, it's by Art Minds, and it did have these little tabs on here that I just scraped off with my fingernail pretty easily. Just push these on. Pull the plastic off. And we will just pop this on. For my larger mirrors, I'll normally just put a couple reams of paper or some heavy books or something, but because this is smaller and I used these um, puffy dots, I'm scared that anything heavy might push these down. So I'm going to use some of my rocks. I'm just gonna leave this on here overnight. 